found yet another, quote, impossible puzzle on YouTube, and um, this time it was from the crazy Russian hacker. And this is the puzzle where he has a sheet of paper and four uh, trapezoidal pieces of paper. When he rotates those, he ends up with a square in the middle. So I thought, hmm, maybe we can use SketchUp to see what's going on here. And what it boils down to is a matter of precision um, with the uh, overlaps and uh, the, the idea that small amounts of area distributed over long edges can add up to a, a lot of uh, area in the middle. So let's approximate what he has by creating a 10 by 10 rectangle. And I will um, make this my, ba my base piece of paper, uh, which I will color something along those lines right there. And let's lock that so that it doesn't get intertwined with anything else we're doing. So let's create another sheet of paper that sits on top of that. I misclicked that. Let's get that. And let's subdivide this piece of paper down the middle. And we've got our construction lines that are down the middle. Now, again, I don't know what the dimensions are um, for his uh, cuttings, but I'm just going to assume a half an inch offset here for each of these trapezoidal um, segments. And I think in the end you'll see that it, it doesn't really matter what the amount is. It probably uh, affects the um, extent to which you you get overlap and you can hide this, but let's just use half an inch. And I'll draw a line across there and a line across there. And now we can clean some of this up and get rid of some of these construction lines. And there we go. Okay, so um, I also want to put in a horizontal line for each of these just so that we can see uh, what's going on with the rotation and that I haven't accidentally rotated it 90 degrees. So that gives us uh, something that we can now group together and make into uh, a separate piece that can be rotated. So I'm going to click that and group it, click that and group it, click that and group it. And now we have four separate pieces which we can assign a color to. So I will give this one... Okay, I edited out a little bit of the color assignment. I had a little bit of trouble, but uh, so I didn't want to waste your time with that. Let's, um, let's rotate each of these pieces 180 degrees do that real quick with the move tool. And, uh, okay, now we have all of our pieces rotated. Let's put the corners and line up the corners with the base piece of paper underneath. And then we'll use the rotation tool to line up the edges. And we'll do that for each of these four pieces. And here we line up that. And one more to go. Okay, already you can see that there is some overlap here, and I can see I've got a little bit of error in my in my uh, rotation. So let me see if I can fix that. There we go. May have some error elsewhere, but I'm just going to check it real quick. So there's a little bit of overlap in each of these pieces, and all of those overlaps add up to the amount of area in the square in the middle. So let's find out how much area is in this square in the middle. So if I zoom in and draw outline this square and get a new entity. We can bring up the entity in info and see that we have 0.8989 square inches in that center piece. Let's just take a look at one of these segments here and uh, let's create a new entity on top of that and bring up the entity info 0.2252. So let's take 0.2252 and multiply by 4.9008. So let's again see what we have in terms of this area here, 0.8989. So, well, modulo, uh, some slight error in my placement of these pieces, the area is approximately the same. Um, and basically, I think it's actually the same. It's just I've been rushing this, so there's probably a little bit of, uh, a little bit of error in, in something I've done. Um, but that explains how that works. And so it all amounts to precision cutting and uh, the slack in his, in his overlap.